1968, the Jabeda massacre happens in Corregidor Island. The killing of Moro soldiers subsequently caused the creation of the Muslim Independence Movement, a secessionist political organization. At the formation of the MIM, injustice towards the Muslims still continued and the declaration of the martial law intensified the ongoing conflict in Mindanao. The declaration resulted in the formation of the Mora National Liberation Front, which was led by Nur Miswari in order to combat the government. The organization received support from foreign countries such as Libya and Malaysia to aid in the fight against the Philippine government. Then in 1976, the Tripoli Agreement was signed in Tripoli, Libya, where it became one of the alternative courses of action taken by the Philippine government and Mora National Liberation Front. The MNLF was gaining support from other countries, but former President Marcos made a way to stop it and resulted to the agreement and the signing of the agreement. Merits were the establishment of autonomy in the southern Philippines and the government was also able to come into an agreement with the MNLF. Having the Philippine government withdrawing its support for the MNLF in the 1970s, a group called the Moro Islamic Liberation Front originated as a splinter group of the MNLF founded by Hashim Salaman, an MNLF co-founder. He began to have ideological and political disagreements with Nur Miswadi, his fellow co-founder and MNLF's key leader. By 1991, a group began to emerge in the shadows, which the MNLF and MILF found to be extreme and radical. This group is known as the Abu Sayyaf group, and it has its roots in the centuries of struggle of the Moro people against colonial administrations and forces that have intruded into and have taken over what the Moros consider traditional homeland. There were numerous peace agreements and talks that have taken place, such as the establishment of the autonomous region of Muslim Mindanao, but none were much successful. Then in 2012, the Bangsamoro Basic Law was created to abolish autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao and to establish a new political entity called the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region. It is a product of peace talks between the government and the Moro Islamic Liberation Front and ended with the signing of the law last July 26, 2018.